Okay, now let's briefly talk about theoretical probability, what should happen. But first, another sign from my classroom door. No loitering. Come on in. 75 minutes maximum, because our classes were 75 minutes long. Okay, in the last video, I talked about a theoretical, I mean, a experimental probability of 20 out of 50, 20 heads out of 50 rolls of a, or flips of a coin. That, of course, can be written as 2 over 5 if we reduce the fraction, or 0 0.4 if you change it to a decimal, just do the division, or if you multiply by 100 over 100, you can write that as, first of all, 40, and then the per 100, or division by 100, is what percent means, right? Percent per 100. So there's many different ways of expressing probability. Now, let's talk about what should happen. That's theoretical probability. Let's say you're flipping our coin again, and you want to get the theoretical probability of getting ahead. Well, there's only one head on the coin. There's two possibilities. So the probability of getting ahead is 1 out of 2. Same with tails. 1 half or 0.5 or 50%. Very basic. What about... Um, rolling a dice, or a, I guess you should say a die. What's the probability of, let's say, getting a 2 on the die? Well, a 2 is just 1 out of 6 possibilities. There are 6 possibilities, so it's 1 out of 6, or 0 0.16 repeated, or about 16.7%. So that's how it starts off, but of course we'll get into more complicated situations shortly. See you then.